Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can recover your Grub bootloader in Manjaro Linux after it disappears. You can't boot up into Linux anymore, even though you know Linux is installed. Uh, one instance of where this can happen is if you install Windows after you install Linux, it might play around with your bootloaders and cause this issue. So what we're going to be needing for this tutorial is a live boot medium. Uh, basically a USB drive that has Manjaro installed so you can go download Manjaro if you haven't already burn it to a USB drive using a tool like Rufus I'll include a link to Rufus in the description below and then you just burn Manjaro onto that thumb drive and you pop that into your computer and you boot into that device so in many cases it's the same process of actually installing Manjaro where if you install it using a USB drive, it's the same idea. You just need it installed on something you can boot into, and then you pop that into your computer and launch that device. So once you've done that, you should get a screen pretty similar to this, the live boot screen for Manjaro. Go ahead and select boot um, Manjaro down here. And that's going to be taking a second just to launch the operating system. But instead of launching the copy that's on your hard drive, it's just loading it into your RAM. Okay, so once you have booted into Manjaro, we're going to need to run a few commands in the terminal. So you can just go ahead and close out this Manjaro hello thing. Go to the start menu in the bottom left and launch the terminal emulator. So from here, the first command we're going to need is lsblk space dash f which is going to list all of the partitions installed to our computer system. So here you can see on this VirtualBox version of Linux, I actually only have uh, one installed partition and then a swap file. So usually Manjaro is going to be installed on a ext4 type partition. And generally the partitions are going to be numbered kind of in the order they were installed. So if you installed Linux first, and then you installed Windows later on. Windows is going to be SDA345, and then Manjaro is probably going to be SDA1. So hopefully just by looking at this, you'll be able to figure out which one is actually where you installed Manjaro or another Linux onto. So we're going to need to mount that partition. So we're going to need to mount that partition doing sudo mount slash dev slash sda and then the number of the partition so in this case that would be sda1 because that's where manjaro was installed and then space and we put that onto slash mount directory and that will allow us to work on the manjaro installation without actually being booted into it but in order to not run into any issues we're going to want to do a ch root um, before we actually enter that directory and start doing grub commands so the simplest version of chroot for you to use on Manjaro is going to be mhwd-chroot, uh, which is actually on the pacman package manager. So we need to download that first. And even though we're on a live CD, we can still run commands like sudo pacman sy to synchronize the database. This will only take a couple megabytes of data, so it takes seconds. Um, in order to do that, though, you will have to actually connect um, into the Wi-Fi in the bottom right hand corner if you haven't done so already and next we're going to do sudo pacman s mhwdch root to install it which is a really tiny file but a useful tool for us to have and once it, once it's installed we can go ahead and do sudo mhwdch root which is going to launch a new shell where we can run these grub install and update grub commands without running into any issues so next we want to change into the mount directory. So cd slash mount. And then we want to install grub here. So in my case, I'm installing onto a BIOS based system. There's also UEFI based systems where the command is a little bit different, but at least for a system that's running on BIOS booting, uh, you're going to be doing grub install space slash dev slash sda not a number but sda it's referring to the hard drive not the partition and then double dash boot directory um, equals slash mount slash boot which is generally where the boot files of your linux installation are going to be put into so because um, sda1 or manjaro linux is mounted onto slash mount uh, slash boot directory is going to be located in that so that's why it's slash mount slash boot and not slash dev slash sda1 slash boot um, so we go ahead and run that 
Okay, so it's actually important you spell it right. So I missed the S there, so make sure grub install. And I'm going to go ahead and rerun that command there. So you should see installing without any errors. Give it a few seconds and it should be complete. Ideally, what you want to see as a message here is installation finished, no error reported. And then what we can do is update grub still within the mount directory, which is going to look on your computer and find all of the operating systems installed on it and compile those into your new grub boot file. So if you have Windows 10 and Manjaro Linux, you should see some reference to those. Um, so like Linux image and then something about Windows. And assuming you didn't run into any errors, everything should be done. So if you run into any issues uh, in this tutorial, possibly you're running on a UEFI system or something like that, uh, I'll pop in the description the link to the official Manjaro documentation on uh, correcting your bootloader after Grub goes haywire. So check that out if you need. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.